Hi, my name is Helen and this is my channel, Head and Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're out, well, hello. <laughs> As you can see, I've got Billy and Hattie with me today and uh, this piece of kit. So before I go any further, I just want to say thank you as ever for all your support, all of your lovely comments, and I hope that you are enjoying the first part of this new year in spite of the worst weather. It's like, we haven't had the snow down here, but my goodness me, we've had some rain. It's like a lake driving into Southampton earlier on. It was just shocking. So I, you know, I never know what's going to drop into my inbox. I really, really don't. And some of them are wild and wacky and wonderful. And I guess this falls into the wonderful bracket, really, because this is a 3D printer. Now you can see it does look a little bit like a guillotine, but it is, in fact, a 3D printer. Now, I knew that um, the children really, really wanted a 3D printer, as did their dad and my daughter. So... Um, when the company approached me, I basically, you know, it's not something that I would necessarily have looked for. But I have to say I have been so impressed and, and the things you can do for it. And then funnily enough, it was on the um, news program yesterday saying that when kind of 3D printers came onto the market, everybody thought they were going to just be the best thing since sliced bread. And although they are, they haven't really hit the big time as was anticipated, but now they are moving into the mainstream. And I think that the family have been so, so impressed with this and enjoying this so very much. Now, it's a thing, you know, if you've got hobbies, if you've got, um, like children in your life that you want them to learn all about design technology you really can't go wrong with something like this now it's a big piece of kit but you know if you've got a garage or a shed or a cupboard even it will fit in there i don't know how heavy it is how heavy is it is it very heavy i've got my son-in-law off screen it's about 10 15 kilos so it's, it's quite heavy yeah. so you really want to find a place where it can live now They've been having great fun with this, I have to say. Oh, there will be a whole, in the description box, I will put a lot of the um, sites that you can get the free software. And you've been using Bamboo Studio. Hang on, this is for the models or for the making? For the making, because there's two different things. Should I? Right, so Kate is going to come on now and explain a little bit to. more. So there is where you... Um, download <laughs> where you download the models where you can find the files for the things to make um, that's one place but there are several places where you can um, get software to make like uh, Word or Excel it's the equivalent of that so um, whereas the things are like the clip, clip art files of, you know so in analogy. here, we've kind of, the children obviously, they've been on their Christmas holidays, so they've kind of been dominating the selection of what's made. But equally, if you've got something that you need to repair, if you've got a part for something that's missing, you can make that. Um, my son-in-law was telling me about a little piece of a camping table that needed replacing, and they made that. So it's really got so many uses. This is the, is this filament? filament. And... You can buy, pick these up on Amazon for not very much money at all. So it is really, it's like a new hobby, but the children particularly, I think, will be learning so many skills with this. Now, Billy, would you like to show us your favorite thing in here that you've made? This snake. So look at this articulated snake. Isn't that amazing? Did you put this on the top, or was that always supposed to be on there? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Huh? It's a Pokemon. Oh, it's a Pokemon. So, look at that. And was that all one piece? Oh, yeah. You didn't have to kind of slot them together. It came out like this, did it? Articulated. Just incredible. Now, what else have you got here? Patty, what's your favourite, would you say? Show the camera. 
Wow, that's lots, isn't it? What is that? Uh, it's a Spider-Man model. You can print off two different heads, so it's Spider-Man's head and Tom Holland's head. Oh, really? So it's like it doesn't have a mask. Patty loves Spider-Man, don't you? Yeah. So, look at that. Hold it up closer to the camera. Huh? You can also paint them. Yeah, so you can really, uh, really go to town, can't you? It's a little bit, um, reminds me a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons. And what else is in here? We've got a bag clip. A shark bag clip. And a, bunch. a little boot. And what's a that, bench Billy? Sheet, but... This is a practical. Did you make that? Yeah. Do you want to show the camera? Um. It's something that can hold like cards, playing cards, or. Look at that! I didn't even know you'd made that. That's that funny because like you opened it on the exact one that this is. Oh, that's funny, isn't it? That was like I rehearsed that and I truly didn't. I'm just so good at this job. Look at that! I think that's amazing. So if you played cards, even that's something you could have, isn't it? What did you want to say? You can make the top. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, the lid. Yeah, so you can make the lid as well. That's so what you're going to do next. You've actually got a carry case. So it really is that it's boundless. The things you can make on this are just boundless. And you can get all different colour filaments. You can get multicolored. You can go kind of as wild and wacky as you really like. So I'm very, very impressed. Katie is now going to come on and do a bit more of a practical demonstration because by the time she's taught me how to do it, because it's been at their house. I mean, I'm not going to pretend it's been here. It's been at their house and um, they've been really enjoying it over the Christmas holidays. So I, the link for everything will be down in the description box. And I'll move and let Katie... No, I was going to say, if I'll, you hold that, so the I'll screen can see the oh, screen okay. and then I'll... Yeah, does that work? I feel like... Um, so this is Thingiverse, which was one of the sites where you can download the files. Oh yeah, that's one they recommend. Yeah. yeah. So we downloaded all the files earlier. Right. So this is Elegoo Cura. So in order to upload a model file, we go to File, Open File. We select our Pokemon lid and we open it up here and then we can see it on there and then we go to prepare and then we go through the slicing of it so we click slice down here and it'll process the model and then preview it up here And you can go through the slices and see. Just have a quick check. You save it. And then save it down here. And just save it. And we're saving it to the stick and we'll transfer that to the printer. So what I would say is that even myself, having just using Canva and Cricut, I have learned so much. I mean, words like slice and things don't faze me now because they're all, any online computer-aided design has that same language in it. So it's really just a case of starting with something small and then you can just carry on really I, I think it's quite remarkable I know they've made prosthetics with them haven't they they've made all sorts of things with them it it's really is remarkable how long should this take roughly so this it tells you on here I'll just get some more wine um just where is it saying it yeah one hour and 27 minutes Right, so obviously we are not going to sit here for one hour and 27 minutes, but oh well, I can see already it's it's starting to cut. It's not cutting because it's not a cricket. Well, not cutting. <laughs> but it's laying the filament down. Oh, right, yeah, of course, it's kind of the opposite, isn't it? 
And so basically, this little filament here, Katie, Katie, this filament here is going down and then... Yeah, um, so it, it basically melts it and sticks it to this plate. Right. And it, so it's literally kind of colouring in with the, Yeah, it's, look, it's done an outline. Yeah. And now it's kind of colouring in with the filament. I mean, I know, Casey, it's not a cricket, obviously it's not a cricket. But, you know, this is technology now that we can have in our homes. The same as the cricket machine that you can cut the vinyl. This is, it, it's kind of like that, isn't it? It's, it's like we've got industrial technology in our own homes. It's absolutely remarkable. Oh, I'm cooking the dinner at the same time, so I'm going to do that. And once Katie gets to a place that she thinks, um, you know, it's just going to be doing the same thing over and over, we'll stop the camera and we'll come back to it towards the end. It's quite fascinating. So that shape that's... Oh. Let's just put it in sport mode. <laughs> Literal sport mode, it's a like a car. Turn going faster. Wow. I'm a bit bewildered. That's the lid for the card case. Oh, right, right. Wow, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I'll come back and um, and show you the end result. I think you don't really need to sit here and watch this because this is just an example of myriad opportunities of being creative. I'm laughing because my son-in-law keeps diving out of the picture. He's so humble. Um, so we're just coming to the end now of this process. And uh, a couple of interesting things. I think you can just about make out this here which is uh, by my able assistant. It's uh, the control pad basically, so that you can pause it and you can see how long it's got to run and everything else on there. Another interesting bit of information is it tells you how much this costs. So I think the filament must be all roughly the same price. And this to, to make is 60 pence uh, in obviously British pounds. So, pretty good really because I think that it's this is the lid to Billy's Pokemon card container so that's the base and then the lid it's got a hole in the middle it'll be ready just in a couple of minutes and there are really so many uses for this well what were you saying Chris about um oh we were looking online because Rob is a very random thinker divergent thinker I think they call it and he said, what about braille, what did you say, a braille toy, a braille, a braille jigsaw? And so Katie went on and there was all these little animals and things that you could, like animal puzzles that you could make that actually... Fittle. What is it? It's called fittle. Fittle. And um, you can make a puzzle and each piece of the puzzle has got the letters. So if it's a fish, it's got F-I-S-H on the four pieces in braille. And you could make... Um, something you know in your workshop to hang your tools on they've actually made a little gizmo up here to put um a little kind of palette thing on there so that's been made um so really it's boundless like i've said already and i know this is quite a random thing for me to be showing but i knew that this family would absolutely love it and in actual fact when i told my son he said, well, I really want a 3D printer. And I was like, well, sorry, no big to it. But, um, it, yeah, I mean, he he uh, is very keen to get one as well. So how much longer have we got on there now? Two minutes. Two minutes. So is there anything else I need to tell you? Not really. I think um, Casey and Chris have found a place to keep it on. They've got a deep window sill that they're going to just keep it on there because it doesn't need to be where you're working as such because you just get it all designed on your laptop and then bring it along to the machine. So it came from a 
Oh, it came flat packed. How difficult was it to put together? So simple. Really simple to put together. I think if you're the sort of person that could do this, you're the sort of person that could put it together. Um, and full instructions. I think it's it's really, really incredible. And there's no other word for it. It's just incredible. So I'll put Billy's card in here ready. Of course, he's sloped off to the other room to watch the TV. I mean, it's a little bit like the cricket, you know, once it's running, it just gets on with itself, really. But we're nearly there. Oh, it's having a funny jittery joddery. Yeah. Wow. And um, my son-in-law was saying, you know, the people that are, are using them kind of advanced ways, they're they're embedding magnets into the into the filament and all sorts. Oh, here we are. Look, is it hot now? So that's. Um, so it's very much like a cricket. So that's still quite warm. It's not hot, so it's it's warm. Oh, it's flexible that bit. So that bit is. It's a magnet onto here. Oh, okay. And then that's you, know, you touch it. It's like hot, but not. Oh yeah, like, it's it's, you, it's 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 sixty. 60 oh yeah, degrees. it's not burning hot. It's not burning hot. It's and just, does that come off then, now? Oh, you kind of yeah, very much like a cricket. You kind of peel it off. Oh, look at that! Wow. And oh, that's fantastic. Look at that. I can think of all, there's loads of uses for this, like on your dressing table and stuff, isn't there? Well, we were saying about a, um, a phone and watch. Oh, yeah, because mum's holds. got um, an iPhone and an Apple Watch, and there's like a little stand you can make that's um, there for you to do, that you can stand the phone and the watch on the, you know. For charging. On the, for charging. So, what's that, Billy, you want this to show me? The circle. Oh, it goes in the other side. Oh, in the other side. And what is this? A coin. A Pokemon coin. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it means nothing to me, but I still think that's fantastic. Does it click in? Or? Yeah, I think it's supposed to. Oh, it, it might have clicked in. I'm, you know, I'm used to some of this stuff. Oh, yeah, it did click in. There. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool by any stretch of the imagination. So, and it's even got like, you can see the little cuts here so you can lift it off. So I think that's marvellous. So there you are, Billy. What a lucky boy you are. Very, Thanks. very lucky. Thank you. So that's really my introduction to this amazing bit of kit. It took 46 um, minutes. Pardon? That took 46 minutes. 46 minutes to make that. So you just do it and go and do something else. In my case, I'm cooking the dinner. And uh, yeah, it's marvellous. So what can I say? All the information will be in the description box. And um, I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.